Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm playing with the True King Dinosaur deck yet again, with some changes that I've made from the previous version. Now, I cut the Water True King out, um, specifically because it just was literally a card you only wanted to draw in conjunction with the Field Spell or with one of the other True Kings, specifically uh, Lithosasm, and that's basically the definition of a brick. Uh, so we didn't want to run those kinds of cards, at least uh, Agnamaz, the... Uh, the Fire True King, at least he's summonable uh, off of his own effect by, you know, getting rid of uh, miscellaneous sources in hand and stuff like that. Uh, bumped Ultimate Conductor Tyrant into two because this card's actually just an amazing boss monster. Um, trimmed uh, Patyrodon down to two, even though it is a starter card, it's accessible off of uh, off of your Soul Devouring Over Your Raptor and your Miscellaneous Aurus. Uh, but ultimately, it's just, uh, it's also, you know, available off Baby Sarasaurus. But ultimately, uh, it's restriction on the attack and the fact that it can only get level four or hires. And the only thing that you can really summon with that is Ovi Raptors, which you have likely already used to search this, or Miscellaneousaurus, which is already used. It's graveyard effect. You'd be setting it up for later. You can't even get Tyranno Infinity because it wouldn't be able to attack, so there would literally be no po like point in doing it. I decided to cut uh, Patyrodon to two just because it's easily accessible when you need it, but it ultimately is just the worst one to start like clumping on as far as bricking. Uh, and stuff like that. Basically, this deck list has still got some work to go into it, but it's such a fun deck, and I'm having so much fun playing with it, so I wanted to do another video on it, because, you know, Maximum Crisis format looks like it's going to be insane uh, if we're running around with, like, these cool-ass True King variants and all that stuff. It looks like True Kings are going to be, like, this really cool, like, splashable option, uh, while also being their own very strong deck. It's going to be basically, in essence, like, a better version of what the tr like the Zodiac cards were as far as being able to be splashed in other engines because all of the True Kings inherently support uh, certain decks and certain themes rather well, like Cosmo and stuff like that. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of innovation that could go into uh, into the Maximum Crisis and Slash Nationals format. I'm actually really excited to see how it ends up, but this is the deck that I like the most out of the True King variants I've tested thus far, and so I just wanted to play it for another video. So, hope you guys aren't getting tired of it and all that sort of nonsense, but let's just not waste any more time and let's just jump straight into the first game, shall we? Alright, so going into the first game, I get to start, and I've got a pretty strong opening hand. It doesn't have the Earth True King in it, but it does have Agnamaz, which is usable with Miscellaneousaurus that I'm able to search off my Soul Devouring Ovi Raptor, and doing my Baby Sarasaurus play. So I'm able to do that, pop that sort of stuff, uh, and get things moving. Now, my hand is kind of not the greatest as far as how it should be, you know, using it, how it should be, like, stacking up. Because if that was the Field Spell or the Earth True King, then I would have been able to end with a Lagia as well. But so my opponent, he's playing a Demise True King, True Draco variant that also plays Domain in it. And I have never seen this deck in action before. I saw that there were zero extra deck cards and I was like, all right, well this Dimensional Barrier is literally going to be useless unless if for some reason he's playing some really kinky ritual deck and he just <laughs> doesn't have an extra deck. Uh, but basically, he breaks my board through the VFD. The VFD doesn't really do anything. I called Dark off VFD because I expected it to be either like Dark Lords, um, like some or like some Monarch variant, and in which case that would mean like I'd shut off Eidos, I'd shut off, uh, I'd shut off uh, a bunch of cards in hand. And if it was something like Dark Lord, uh, like if it was like a Nurse Reficule build or something that wouldn't require an extra deck, then it would also shut off like Ixshell as draw power and stuff like that. Um, but so ultimately, he just completely breaks my board. My Dimensional Barrier means nothing. I drew another Dimensional Barrier the following turn. And he's able to just throw masterpieces on the board over and over again that I can't really answer or do anything to. And it's just really, really actually terrifying to me. Uh, the fact that this is something that uh, that exists. Like, this is the first experience I've ever had with this deck. And if this is as strong a showing as I should be expecting from this deck in the future, then that's absolutely fucking insane um, as far as, like, how things should be going. Now... I would have loved to like summon like Tyranno Infinity here, but my one copy of Tyranno Infinity was already gone, I believe. And so I did some cool plays, you know, playing around his masterpiece with my Miscellaneousaurus, uh, but and then you know using my Ovi Raptor to pop and float. But ultimately, like the only thing that was left in my deck that was summonable was the Dogaran uh, that was meaningful. And then he got dimensional. I got dimensional barrier for XC, so I couldn't do anything about it. Now, going into the next game, I start with the regular, you know, field spell play. Being able to do Ovi Raptor into Baby Sarasaurus, into the field spell, searching uh, the uh, Lithosasm, and then being able to do all the other stuff. And I also have the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and a Kaiju in my hand, so I'm really well off against uh, against these um, against these possible uh, plays. Now, this deck that I'm playing does not have a Abyss Dweller in the extra deck, 
And after this match, I was actually just really, like, really surprised by just how much Dweller would have really just helped all the situations that I was in. Uh, because all of these spells and traps activate in the graveyard. Now, I can't remember if Dweller specifically negates monster effects in Grave, or if it's just card effects in your... Yeah, it is card effects in Graveyard. I remember this now, because, like, I was literally doing this at 2016 Nationals so that I could make turn one Dweller and make it to where they couldn't Pantheism search and shit like that uh, when I was playing, like, Mermails and stuff when I was testing for Nationals. But regardless, so I'm able to Kaiju over his, uh, over whatever thing he summoned. I think it was Masterpiece. And then I'm just able to literally flood the board and do all this stuff. I summon the ultimate uh, Tyranno. I summon Ty uh, Tyranno Infin Infinity. I can't speak. I'm going very, uh, very uh, stutterish recently for some reason uh, when I don't need to be doing so. Uh, but so, next game he gets to start. And he opens with Triple Pot of Fucking Desires. Uh, now the thing is, with the true Draco deck and the true King deck, it seems like it just gets so much more value going second because of the fact that those spells and traps have amazing effects of being able to interact with your opponent's board and break boards, and that just seems insane uh, overall. But so, uh, for some reason, he decided to pop my set monster because apparently I just don't run True King cards. I'm just not drawing those. <laughs> I'm not drawing those at all. Um, and so I set a card in past turn just to see if he might pop it with Masterpiece, and he did. So I got the free uh, economy into uh, Soul Devouring Ovi Raptor for it, and he said in the chat when we were playing, I knew what that was the second I activated my card to pop it. Uh, but it, at that point, it was way too late. He just, like, shotgunned it without even thinking. I was like, alright, that's that's acceptable and that's fine. But I got Dimensional Barrier, so uh, not really much I could do about that. Uh, and he's just powering through his deck. He's resolved two Desires. He's resolved, like, I think two Card of Demises at this point. And I'm able to just do, I'm able to just do whatever I want. And, like, apparently he's out of traps, too, for Dynamite Knuckle. So that's just even better for me. Uh, like, it's just, ooh... It's just such a good, strong feeling, uh, being able to just literally do whatever I want. So I just make Castell, just spin cards, do things, make uh, the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, which I could have used to put things face down, uh, which would have been 500 more damage had I put everything face down, but I just wanted to attack over the things. Um, I didn't really see the need of destroying a card and flipping them face down, because it wasn't really necessary, uh, but it would have just been more damage, but the Tyranno Infinity is game anyway, on top of the Conductor Tyranno, so it doesn't really matter. But so... That game one that we played got me really scared for how to play against this deck, uh, and like, uh, it's just, it It was one of those things that I got really terrified and I thought I was going to get stomped because I felt like this deck was like, just too much for me to handle with all these spells and traps that are just killing me and killing my stuff. But it turns out that he literally opened like an amazing hand game one that was able to out my board and do all that sort of stuff and that I wasn't really just, I wasn't really being punished as hard, or I was being punished a lot harder than I was expecting to be punished uh, for the rest of the match, basically, because now there's a masterpiece on the board. I draw the kaiju off the top, which is great, uh, but apparently, again, apparently I just don't run true king cards. I didn't see them this game either, and there's like 11 of them in the deck, uh, and of which those, you you know, you can draw any of them, and they're all good in any situation, especially when you have Obi Raptor, so like, I can't believe that, uh, that this stuff is uh, going on, but so he flips a revival of the true kings. I ultimate conductor Tyranno his stuff face down. Uh, and ultimately, I'm just trying to kill him, and I was trying to spin his Revival of the True Kings to force him to bring back a monster, but it turns out he has Dimensional Barrier calling it Seize, so now I don't have a game shot, because as you can see, I make Chamber Rider, uh, or Chambara, and I'm literally 600 off game, whereas if he had brought back a monster off Revival when I was trying to Castell it and I didn't get barriered, I would have just been able to attack all of his monsters with Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Now, I am still able to attack his monster in the battle phase with Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, but it's still just not not a big thing. Like, it's not capable of game-shotting him. And so now I'm really, like, stunted for resources uh, because I had to put everything into, like, the play that I was making. And uh, I, guess, I just keep getting, uh, I keep getting, like, stopped here. And now he's just drawing card after card after card that's actually just really good um, at dealing with the situation. And now it's just... Uh, it's becoming a problem. I'm really low on resources, and the only way that I can win this game is if I can resolve this Tyranno Infinity. Um, I've got a Miscellaneous Source in my graveyard that just died, so I can resolve it for two to summon a floater. So that's easy. Um, but the only way I get to literally win this game is if that, Tyranno, if that Tyranno Infinity can attack for its 5k value without being disrupted. So if any of those traps were like something that could tribute uh, one of his other traps and destroy card, I would have lost. But luckily, all that was down there was Dimensional Barrier, and Dimensional Barrier was worthless in the situation, so I just get it from there, like, by the skin of my teeth. 
the skin of my ass. Uh, but so from here, my opponent gets to start, and he's putting things on the board. I don't know if we've seen, do I can't remember if we see domain in any of these replays, but um, I think we do. I think we did, and I got I, I hydrated over his monster. Uh, but Domain of the Monarchs is in his deck uh, because he's playing Demise, he's playing Terraforming, so it's like it's a good thing that you can have with the Masterpiece. So like it's just a it's a soft lock and it's just a way to keep me out of the extra deck. So but unfortunately this deck has searchable Kaiju's, uh, so it may not be that uh, that optimal. But so I'm just trying to power through his board using my Instant Fusion to try and force the Masterpiece with Castell because that Masterpiece is unaffected by uh, Spell and Trap if I remember correctly. Um, I might just be wrong. Uh, <laughs> I could just easily be wrong, uh, but so from here I'm just attacking over his monsters um, from what uh, from what needs to be uh, done, and then I uh, he uses his uh, his apocalypse trap to tribute off the to destroy the uh, the wind true king as I try to attack it, lower my stuff's attack values, uh, and then get a search, and then from here he's just doing stuff. He's getting cards. Um, he got a true Draco succession, but I believe he already activated one that turn, so it didn't really. Uh, didn't really uh, matter, but off the top, I'm able to get this uh, Terra Top special it, and uh, and like not really do much because he's winning on card advantage. Uh, but I am able to use a Miscellaneous Source here to summon a Baby Ceratosaurus out of my deck, banishing Obi Raptor, then allowing me to summon it back. But from here, he just he he keeps waiting until I make an Xyz play, and then Dimensional Barriering me, and it's uh, it's kind of annoying. But the thing is, is that if he didn't have Barrier, I'm pro I'm positive that I could have just killed him this turn because I would have been able to literally force that Apocalypse before I summoned my Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and then I could have cleared his entire board of monsters. Um, like, it would have been a much different story of, of how the game could be played if I didn't get Dimensional Barrier, but that's not really something I can be upset about, because Dimensional Barrier is at 3, but I really like his deck. I really like the deck. I've never experienced it before until I played against him for this video, and it absolutely terrified me with that game 1. I was like, how am I supposed to play against this? How am I supposed to hard counter this? And something I noticed was that if you make a turn 1 Dweller, it's actually something where like their spells and traps don't get value in Grave, which is actually probably just a super real thing, because I was noticing all the games that I was winning were when his spells and traps were not getting a lot of good value for popping cards and doing all that. So that could very well be something that, uh, that makes its way back into the extra deck of like staple decks for True King format, is because Dweller is just that card. It's just really powerful against the fact that all of their spells and traps are trying to gain value while going to Grave, and all of their stuff has value when it gets destroyed and goes to grave, so Dweller is probably just that card. Like, turn one VFD Dweller instead of VFD Lagia is probably just incredibly strong against that deck in general. But that's all just theory and speculation. I'm very, very interested in testing more Maximum Crisis format and seeing how that goes. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and check out the links in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so, as it also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of each month, so definitely check out the details over on Patreon. Today is like the last day for you to get in on the monthly giveaway for this month, which is a couple of boxes of uh, Duelist Saga that I'm sending out to people just to say thanks to the people that have supported me thus far, or anyone that decides to support me in the near immediate future. But if you're interested in that, the details are on Patreon, as I've already said. But other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business. Their pricing and shipping are both very top-notch with what I've had to experience thus far. But definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that is it for this video. Again, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.